Pedestrian attitude is an important safety factor. Too many adults dismiss pedestrian safety rules, thereby endangering themselves and the drivers. One such offender is the person who is so engrossed in what he is doing, or so preoccupied with other thoughts, that he completely disregards signal lights, crosswalks, and other safety devices. Alcohol and gasoline don't mix. Drinking and driving is a serious offense. But we don't give much consideration to drinking and walking. Yet statistically over the years, it has been proved that more pedestrians than drivers have had fatal accidents when under the influence of alcohol. The pedestrian who has been drinking is subject to the same problems as the driver. His inhibitory mechanism has been dulled. He has more assurance and less self-control. His judgment of speed and distance are impaired, and he takes chances he wouldn't ordinarily take. Unfortunately, he has no steel enclosure such as the driver to protect him. In case of an accident, his body takes the full impact of a collision, and he is often fatally injured. Walking at night can be doubly dangerous. To be on the safe side, pedestrians should wear or carry white and be bright for night. Many pedestrians do not drive and have never driven. They are unaware of the limitations of car and driver. They are not trained to judge speed and distance and are usually unaware of the minimum stopping distances of vehicles at given speeds. They are therefore more vulnerable to accidents than pedestrians who do drive. Another miscalculation of the non-driving pedestrian is that he doesn't realize that every car has blind spots, and though he can see the oncoming car, the driver may not be able to see him. If you can't see the eyes of the driver, you may be sure he can't see you. Statistically, nine out of 10 pedestrians killed were non-drivers. This behooves every non-driving pedestrian to allow his calculations a large margin of safety when applying them to oncoming traffic. Nobody in their right mind plays Russian roulette, yet pedestrians play a game that is just as dangerous every time they dart out between two cars. This practice is suicidal because the pedestrian is often in front of the oncoming car before the driver has a chance to react to the danger. Unless the pedestrians are unusually agile, they will find they may be dead wrong. Stepping out of a car into the traffic side of the street without looking carefully is another version of the same game. Yet as drivers, we unconsciously do this when we park our car and change from the role of driver to that of pedestrian. It is a strange paradox that one moment we're the driver cursing the careless pedestrian, the next moment we're the pedestrian cursing the careless driver. No matter which side of the wheel we're on, we are prone to stand up for our rights or what we feel are our rights, rather than being courteous and safe. We often put ourselves in the position of the boy who stood in the middle of the railroad tracks to stop the oncoming train, trusting to the skill of the engineer and the brakes of the locomotive. Such was the case with Mr. Smith. He was right, but he almost died. about it the next time you have the choice. Be courteous and smart. Don't be dead right. <laughs>